Action figure deconstruction. What is up? Welcome to another episode of Action Figure Deconstruction. I am Josh45, the master of disaster, and with me is always is the master collector, CBS. This week we have Hasbro's Power Ranger Lightning Collection, the Mighty Morphin Ranger Slayer Kimberly. Pretty Freaking stuck. awesome. Super rad figure. Um, we're, we've been trying not to duplicate um, lines, but this figure was so impressive that we had to uh, bend our own rules on that one. So, you ready to deconstruct? Heck yeah. All right, here we go. So, we have your basic Hasbro box, pretty much the box there. It's a universal box across most of their lines now. It's a little tab on the back. And... Pops right up, and the figure slides right out. Comes with some uh, multiple accessories. She's got her uh, her power arrow, laser arrow thing. Her three her three customary arrows that she seems to use quite a bit in the comics. Her little power dagger laser thing. And her bow. And then a set of alternate hands. One's for chopping. One's for punching. And then the masterpiece figure itself. So your head's on a the ball joint. It has the double jointed shoulders that are really cool. It bends from that point. Then also the inner. Those are more more range when you put her bow on. You have the double joint in the elbow. And also her wrist. She twists at the torso, but then it also there's a a joint here that bends up and down. You got the ball joint and the hips. Then you have an upper, the upper thigh twists. You got your double jointed knee. And then your ankles on this swivel. Her cape is battle damaged. It's really cool. It has a little armor shoulder pad and it just comes right off. Hasbro's Power Ranger Lightning Collection, the Mighty Morphin Ranger Slayer. Kimberly, she comes from uh, the Coinless universe where um, Tommy never quits being the Green Ranger and he 
takes all Rita Repulsa's powers and kills a bunch of the Rangers and has the powers of the white and the green mixed together and he's evil and he basically takes like hypnotizes her and makes her do his bidding and before before she breaks out of it she does some pretty horrendous things so yeah it's a it's a pretty good body count kind of series like the, if you want to read the comic book series where she first shows up it's the the mini series was called shattered grid and yeah it's a tommy that's all bad and everyone good and then he manipulated Kimberly to do his bidding, basically. But she looks freaking awesome. Yeah, it's a really gorgeous figure. It's an awesome design. Um, pretty stoked on it. But yeah, comic book wise, the story was really great, actually. Like, it crossed over between two different series the Binding of Morphin Power Rangers and the Gogo Power Rangers. Like, it jumped back and forth, chapter to chapter to chapter. Had a bunch of one shots. So it's kind of a big series. But as far as story, it's freaking awesome. Um, real recently, she actually got a one shot, um, storyline, like a, a big, I think it's like 80 pages, I think. Anyway, uh, story wise, yeah, she's awesome. Like a punk rock older Kimberly that's just war torn, weathered, awesome. Just, uh, part of the resistance at first. And so she just has battle hardened. Well, yeah, the whole coinless universe, like after Tommy took all of their coins, he didn't kill all of them initially. Like, eventually he kills Rita, but he didn't kill all the other rangers. He just took their coins and then built himself an army. And so they run around, like, I don't know, Rebel Alliance style, trying to stop him. So in this wave, we also have Wesley from Time Force, um, the Red Ranger. Yeah. Um, the original Billy Blue Ranger. Um, Jason, who's the original Red Ranger, but he actually comes back in Zeo as the Gold Ranger. And then Kimberly the Ranger Slayer. So those are the four figures in this wave. I think this is wave five. Um, each one runs about twenty nine twenty nine bucks, nineteen ninety nine to twenty two ninety nine, depending on where you get it from. Um, it's all it's pretty much at mass retail, but it's also on all the um, different toy sites. Um, this figure is really cool. It, it fits real well with um, most of your you know your one twelve one twelve scale. Yeah, it's stuff. six inch figures. Yeah, it's really it's, great. Yeah, um, Hasbro's been doing a really good job with their keeping put all their things within the same scale it seems like so oh yeah and she's got holes in the feet for a stand doesn't come with a stand which is getting to be pretty normal i guess which is our biggest pet peeve yeah really come on people yeah just make some stands something i mean yeah something but as far as articulation lots of articulation i mean you saw in the breakdown so figure wise i mean a lot of posability customization i mean you can change your hands so and you can pop her hands out, put the other ones in, to make her like either, like hand to hand fight or not. Um, right. Again, if you're a really good customizer and you want to mess with things like you know the, the the you know the pieces pop on and off relatively easy, and but I don't know why you would want to really change this. It's a pretty yeah. The, it's she's one so of the, stale, stylized that I don't yeah I don't know why you would do that to this figure. It's a pretty perfect figure, if you ask me. This is one of my tops that I've seen so far. Well, this whole series has been good with their. I mean, if, if you watch our previous video for the White Ranger. This whole series has been good, but as far as like a comic accurate figure, I mean, she's really spot on and it's freaking awesome. And that's why I think it's really cool because they're also coming out with a Lord Dracon. They are. So, um, which I'm pretty stoked on. Um, it's, it's neat that they're doing figures from the comic books. Oh, yeah. So I think that's really awesome that they're, they're doing that. Kind of mix and matching the series with the books too, which is cool. Cool tie in. Yeah. So, other than that, um, we do have these awesome stickers now that CBS had. So, what we're going to do, watch our social medias, which we are at Action Figure Deconstruction on all platforms. But, um, especially our Instagram, we're going to, going to be doing a contest where if you, you like us and tag some friends or whatever, then we'll pick a winner and we'll send them some stickers and we'll send them. I think I'm going to send one of the figures from the first 10 episodes that we've done. Um, it'll be our choice, not yours. It'll be a surprise in the mail. Um, so keep an eye out for that. So if you're not already following us, get down there, start following us for the potential to win that contest. I am at Wendell24 on socials. Um, right. you, you were at Top 5 Comics CBS on Instagram for drawings and Comic Con pictures. So this episode, if you want to hear more about this character, we're going to be reviewing um, a free comic book day book that she was in. That's a backstory of hers. 
And we'll probably be talking a lot about that character in that series on the Top 5 Comics podcast. So please check that out. These are going to kind of come out together. Um, and you can find all of those things at top5comicspodcast.com. Also true. Along with our um, more mature, um, ridiculous uh, rated Never Been Done podcast where we talk about movies and film and other such nonsense. And then um, also check out our buddies over at a... Um, a hot sauce review show called Scovillionaires. Um, oh yeah, there's a link link to that also. If you can't spell Scovillionaires, there's a there's a link on the web page. Yeah, so you know it's like Scoville and Millionaire mixed together. That's, yeah, that's and they, and they do basically a show very similar to this, except like I always say, they're not as handsome as us. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, um, well, yeah. But until next time. Same bat time. Form of water. Just kidding. Same bat time. Same bat channel. Thanks. Man. Did we have a noise last time? Pew, pew, pew.